Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I have something really great for you. It is a home gateway for receiving the internet over 5G, and well, this one's from Ecom. Now, if you remember Ecom in the past, we've reviewed products like this one, and remember, this one I had to take it apart to add some external antennas, and boy, was that a great unit, but this one's a bit different. This one is an outdoor unit, so I don't need external antennas. This is an external unit. You mount this outside on a wall or a pole, and you can mount it really far away because it will be powered over Ethernet. So one cable to this device will power it and give you, uh, well, your Ethernet signal. I'm going to bring it into the house and then plug it into my network and see how fast it is, see how great it is. We can check that out. It also comes with this. This is a power over Ethernet. You plug in your Ethernet here. You get power over Ethernet here. You can run these things up to 100 meters. That's 328 feet. That is one hell of a distance. So a lot of people were trying to say, well, I need your antenna cables. They're really expensive. I need to go 80 feet. You have signal loss when you run those a long distance. Well, you have any distance, really. The antennas are in this box. So this is a weatherproof box. It will operate all the way down to negative 30 Celsius. So really cold temperatures. All that data is here. What I want to do is put this outside. Uh, it is weather sealed on every single opening. It comes with all the little grommets you need, all the weather seals. And you can put two SIMs in here. Let me show you all that. This is pretty darn cool. So let's see. Where did I find the dual SIM piece? I'm just going to scroll down because I know it's here. Plug and play up to 64 users. It'll do 5G. It'll aggregate two bands together just like the T-Mobile unit. I'm going to try all this stuff out. Well, it's waterproof, dustproof, UV resistant. Takes two SIMs. Can mount it on a wall or a pole. It does have quite the processor inside. And it supports uh, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. Now, I really want to dig into that and make sure that it's going to support everything of, that I want to on T-Mobile and the other two as well. Let me show you how I do that. I pull up the data like this. I found out exactly what they're going to support. There's two different versions of this. If you're overseas, you want to get the version one. In North America, we can only get this one. I'll put a link to the North American version. But look, for AT&T, you have N5 and N77. Those are your home networking ones. It says right here, that the N260 is millimeter wave. That's not for home networking. That needs to be repeated every two blocks. We'd never pick that up. So this radio isn't gonna get that. For Verizon, it's gonna do N2, N5, N77, N66. Well, that's a lot. Uh, let's make sure all of those are there. So I'm looking in the 5G band for North America. I need 2, 5, 77, and 66. They're all there. It'll support everything for T-Mobile and Verizon. Let's take one more, or sorry, Verizon ATT. T-Mobile, looking in the right spot for 5G. I'm looking for N41, which is their ultra capacity. And of course, that's there. And N77, which is their XR or their extended range. And that one's great. If you are having trouble getting a good T-Mobile signal, they're outside. This is going to allow you to get it up high and far enough away just with a standard Cat 5e cable. Um, I've been having great success with that. I love the fact you just plug in your, your router here, put the PoE signal out, you run it outside, run it as, <clears throat> as far as you need. It's going to power this unit. So we're going to check that out, of course. T-Mobile, we got N41, N71, both of those are covered, and Sprint, N41. Now let's look in the 4G section. They call this LTE bands. I'm looking for 2, 4, 5, 12, 14, 24, 5, 12, 14, 17, 29, 17, 20. They've got this covered really nice. 30 and 66. Everything is there for AT&T. T-Mobile, 2, 4, 12, 66, and 71. Boom, those are there too. Sprint, 25, 26. I see those. 41, already saw it. U.S. Cellular, 2, 4, 5, and 12. 2, 4. Four, five, and two. hey, you can't go wrong with this. It's got all the right frequencies. It does allow for band locking. It does allow you to adjust TTL, and it does allow for dual SIMs. Pretty darn cool. Spec-wise, this is fantastic. How is it? I have no idea. I haven't hooked it up yet, but let's go do that now and uh, see what it's all about. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. It takes a screwdriver. I'd open this up real quick. Here, I'm just, there's a door right there with two screws. 
This is metal on the bottom. This metal on the bottom is shaped as a heat sink. It's a good idea because it's going to be outdoors, you know, and it's been really hot here. So here, let me pull that up real quick. What are the specs that we are looking at? T -t Temperature range. 55C. If it gets to 55C, I think we got more problems than my internet not working. That is, wow. Alexa, what's 55C in Fahrenheit? From programize.com, 55 degrees Celsius is equal to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, 131 degrees is just a little bit warm. So I've got it open, and there's the metal piece that comes out. There's a rubber grommet in there to keep it free from... Uh, all the bad stuff and look I'm just gonna plug in the Ethernet card there and I'm gonna plug it into the uh, LAN port and I'm gonna power it over this let's check it back in a second hey guys well I'm back and I've have this product up on my roof now it looks great up there it's near my other antennas pointing the same direction so uh, let's go ahead and give it a test but before I do I wanted to show you some of the uh, firmware that we're looking at so I was able to access the firmware by going to 192.168.25.1 by default, it's .1.1, .1, but thank goodness Ecom allowed me to change it because my new Orbi uh, access point, it's a mesh access point, uh, is fixed at 192.168.1.1. So somebody had to give. Now that I have a modem and an access point separated, hey, you may have noticed they call this a gateway, and it is indeed a gateway because they do have a wireless setup. And in fact, I left that on, it's on right now, because it covers my backyard so well. So it, there is that. But it is 2 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which if you're only going to have one, that's the one to have because it covers a larger area. So I do like that, although it is not dual band Wi-Fi. That is important to take a look at. Uh, let's see, advanced settings. Nope, I set it up to through walls because obviously it's outside. Uh, Saying that, I did go ahead and change the network settings on my mobile network. Here, set up to 5G just like this. I set up these configurations. It does have band locking, which a lot of people have been asking for. For example, if you were get pulling N71 because it had a stronger signal, but you really wanted N41 because you thought, hey, I want to test that out and see if it has a more bandwidth, even though the signal slightly reduced, well, there you go. Hey, you can tell all the signals on this. A dual SIM, by the way. I kind of like that. I'm going to have to play with that. Also, it gives me the ability to set a static IP. Now, I'm thinking of working with, I've been working a little bit with Pure VPN. They do have a VPN solution that allows you to get a static and maybe get around the issue that we're having with T-Mobile. Carry grade NAT. So, yeah. Can we get a static IP so that we can tunnel out? I'm going to keep playing with that. But for right now, I want to show you the scores I'm getting. It's right here in system information under mobile information. And let's go ahead and show you what I'm getting. And let me just show you what we want to get. Well-studied MRD, by the way, covers all the major carriers, uh, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, and all their different bands, both for 5G, XRNR and for 4G. Every single one is covered. So here's what we want to see. We want to see the reference signal receive power. And right now it's it's constantly changing. It's up to date. We're solidly in the good zone. That's good. Reference signal receive quality. We're way up here above excellent. And signal to noise, anything above 20, we're getting 21. These are some good scores. Let's see what that turns out to be for, for speed, just for fun. Here, I'm gonna run a quick speed test on it. Speed is more subjective than the scores I've just showed you. 23 is the a ping, that's the responsiveness of the network, how quickly the network appears. It's really important for gamers that are playing first person shooters, they're sending small packets and it's about getting to the server first. And we're getting some good scores. 270 is not bad at all. All right, so 269, 269. And what are we getting up? Now, I'm going to go, of course, plug in my T-Mobile and compare it to that. But again, my T-Mobile, the gateway that I have, I've altered and I've added two professional antennas to it. So, all right, and 22. 269 and 22. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and test that. But I did want to show you for all of you few folks that did want to be able to change and band lock to specific bands. Let's see what I'm getting right now. Oh, it doesn't actually show me which ones I'm getting. It's showing which ones are broadcasted. 
So you'll notice that 2 and 66, 41 and 71 are there. Or those are my settings, actually. Let's see. When I go to mobile network, advanced settings. Yeah. 2, 4. The 12, it's not, it's not seeing 12 for some reason. Okay. But it is seeing 66 and interesting it's seeing 71. I wonder if I could just lock to that. And then we'll get rid of all the high-speed ones here. These are the XR bands for 4G LTE. That, again, is... I just had that up. Can I pull that back up? Bing! Yeah, so here are the bands you're always looking at. For T-Mobile, you want 2, 4, 12, 66. Now, if you look at 2, 4, 12, this is 700. 66 is the 17 and 21, so very fast. It's a version of 4. And uh, and then 71 is 600 megahertz. Wow, that is, I was going to say slow, but that's not fair. That is long reaching. So if you're in a, I guess, uh, a rural area, those are the ones you want to focus on. So you're looking at, can I pull a 71 and a 71? 71 up here in the 5G band is T-Mobile 71, 600 megahertz as well. So long reaching. Let's see if we can just get it to work. This is a curious thing. You've got to click save and then apply and then save and apply. I mean, didn't I just do that? I don't know what the difference is. Why not just have one button? But there it is. Let's watch this little thing, this little graphic. It's going to change. Ooh, it pulled a 5G finally. There we go. I'm excited. So let's go see what we got. System information. Yeah, that's it. Double tab. Bam, we go. I'm pulling N71 and band 2 slash 66. Huh, interesting. All right, let's pull this up. Bing, where's my little cheat sheet? So we're getting a very good, almost excellent signal. We're getting very good quality and we're getting exceptional signal to noise. This might be fun. Let's see what we could do with N71. There are a lot of towers that only have N71. And if you live close to one of those, you would be able to get an N71 signal, 31 ping, and some reasonable scores. Yeah, there's a lot of places like, for example, on the Florida Turnpike, they just put N71 towers to cover as much area as possible. But if you live near one of those, well, then you might be able to get an excellent signal on an N71 band, and you would get some very good speeds. So even though you're kind of rural, if you're close to one of those N71 towers, which they are putting all over the place to, I guess, cover the greatest amount of area, you might be looking at some good scores. Well, there you go, guys. Um, oh, let's compare it to T-Mobile because I told you I would. Uh, let me do that right now. All right, didn't even have to stop the camera. So what I did was I took my Ethernet cable, unplugged it from that uh, modem brick that we saw, or I guess the power over Ethernet brick, and just plugged it into my standard router. I now have connection here. I'm going to refresh this, make sure what we got all the stuff. Bing. All right, so here's my connection. I'm pulling with my T-Mobile setup a very high power signal. Again, two professional antennas and $80 worth of cabling. Signal to noise, very good. Quality is excellent. That's my 4G signal. And that's probably band 2 or band 66. I'll check that in a second. This is my 5G signal. Signal to noise off the charge. Quality is good and power is good. So that is solid. Let's check these pieces. A lot of people said, hey, I don't get these numbers like you do. And it's true. If you have the black T-Mobile unit, the one they call Arcadian, uh, you need to get this on your mobile app. But I've shown that before. You can get that. Oh, and get N41 and B66. Two very good desirable bands. I should be getting some good scores. Again, the numbers to beat were 269 and 22. Yeah, and I'm, I'm walking right past that. Again, it's time of use thing. I have noticed, noticed these two were pretty close. Yeah, as you can see, it walked right, right back down. They have been very good. This outdoor unit is as good uh, on the download speed as my, uh, as my T-Mobile. The upload is helped by the second antenna, and the ping can be helped by the second antenna, although it didn't work out in this case. It has been excellent. 
So what do I think about this Ecom unit? This is a really cool unit. It does allow us to get outside, take those antennas in the modem and put them outside and bring in the signal inside and uh, really be able to do some things that I haven't been able to do with the T-Mobile one. I'm anxious to see if I can get, get a lock of static IP with this. I'm anxious to work with, uh, to give my friends over at a Viper Broadband a call to see if I can use their SIM in this. Right now it's pin locked, but uh, also I wanna call uh, Nomad and see if what they've got. Can we just get a card from them, plug it in here and get some fair internet pricing for people that are outside of the T-Mobile region. As always, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and favorite this channel because there is Prime Day coming up and I've been embargoed, so I can't tell you the stuff that's coming up. But I am going to have a video coming covering Prime Day because I found so many things that I really like in there that have some good pricing. We'll go ahead and look at those. Um, and stuff that I really have experience with that I thought, this you need to pay attention with on Prime Day because there are some great offers out there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon.